Well, in 2015, researchers at CSU, in conjunction with the city of Fort Collins and Larimer County, released a small herd of bison into the Soapstone Prairie, north of Fort Collins. And what makes these bison special is that they have lineage to those living in Yellowstone National Park. Over the past eight years, that herd has grown more than tenfold, and now CSU is partnering and rehoming those animals with tribal lands, allowing those tribes to start herds of their own. With youth from the Oglala Lakota tribe in South Dakota looking on, researchers from CSU loaded up five bison headed for their new home on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. From my point of view, uh, something like this is so it's really important that we get to know back ourselves again, uh, taking these animals back to its place. And um, now where there or people can get to know it themselves again. For the past eight years, researchers like Dr. Jennifer Barfield have kept a close eye on the herd, using their expertise in assisted reproductive technologies to keep these bison as genetically pure as possible. They do a lot of natural breeding too out there on the prairie, um, but those assisted reproductive technologies help us, um, you know, build a herd that we know is healthy and, and you know, free of brucellosis. There's a lot of uh, culture importance, the original bison strains, and um, yeah, so we're, we're just trying to maintain, you know, another genetic line. They hope these animals will assist native tribes in cultural endeavors, food sovereignty efforts, and the ability to start their own herd. You know, they roamed that area a long time ago, you know, migrated through there, you know, and it's probably part of their homelands too, you know, the buffalo. So it's, it's a good thing, you know, probably, you know, for the, for the people and the buffalo, you know. It does feel very rewarding to be able to rehome these bison with tribes, and it really is just coming full circle on our mission. Now, CSU has also rehomed bison with tribes in Wisconsin, New Mexico, Montana, and Minnesota this spring. We have a link for you to support this research on our website, cbscolorado.com.